In this video, I will show you how to create a simple label for horizontal bends or vertical bends for stone pipe or possibly new water pipes. So here, the, this exercise is for companies that don't have extensive part lists, you know, uh, who doesn't have a part for every single bend or vertical bend or wide connections and pop size changes. So I will show you how to do a quick, make a quick label for your bends. Um, besides having an extensive list of, you know, 45 degree, 30 degrees, uh, six degree bends, uh, I will show you how to create one label style for bends. So um, I'm going to turn on my, my null structures. So if I click on my pipe and go to edit pipe styles, check uh, under the plan tab, go cl uh, clean, clean up and pipe connection, click OK. Here's my null structure now. I can see my null structure. I think I'm going to label my null structure here. And I got my old template here that I think my old 12 template. Uh, for structural label styles, I'm going to just collect my plan structural label, structural label. Hit add and then select my null. So what it's doing is actually pulling the description of my null structure. But I want this to actually, you know, I, I designed this at a 45. So I'm going to click on my null structure and go to pro, uh, structure properties. I'm going to give it the rotation. I'm going to type in the rotation. If this is a 60 or 30, I'm going to type in 45. So I'm going to hit OK. So now I'm going to create my label style here. So what I want to do is I want to automatically update my size of my pipe. If I change the upsize of my pipe to 24, I want the label style to update with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my label. Go to Edit Label Style. Go to my editor. Under, lay, on the, under Layouts, I'm going to go to my reference. Uh, I'm going to create a new uh, component here. I'm going to edit uh, text for each. I'm going to pick the out structure pipe. I'm going to this I pipe. I'm going to use that as my reference here. I'm going to say out. So I'm going to go to contents, label contents. I'm going to delete what's in here. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to scroll down and select contact pipe, inner diameter, or width. Set to one in my precision, one inch. Now I'm actually going to copy this. Hit cancel. I'm going to delete what I just created. Go back to my structure text here that actually pulled the description of my note, my null structure. So you see the description here. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to paste what I just copied. Now it's going to say 18 inch. I'm going to type in an inch uh, symbol here. Now I want the angle, so I'm going to say I'm going to on my pull down properties. I'm going to say structure. Let's see, structure rotation angle under format. I'm going to change that to degrees, minutes, and seconds. I'm going to put it under one degree. There we go. I'm going to type in horizontal bend. Hit OK. Hit apply. And hit OK. And OK again. And there we go. So if I, let's say I change, I'm upsizing, I'm designing my pipe, I'm doing my pipe sizing, my hydraulics and stuff, and I'm changing the size of my pipe, you know, I'm going to go in here, I'm going to swap this over to a 24 inch. I'm going to swap this one over to a 24 inch. Notice how it updated automatically. So, and if you change the angle, just go back and change the angle. And your structure. So now you can actually eliminate all these other, you know, these are my old templates, really old template. You know, I had an actual structural bend of 30, 45, 60s, and stuff. Now I can actually, you know, start deleting some of these that I had in here. But these are just thoughts and ideas of what you can do with some of these label styles and components and editors.